Master Lamb came to London in 1975 and with the help of Beryl Heed, he began teaching for the Inner London Education Authority, ILEA, Tai Chi classes. In November of 1983, Fighters Magazine did their first ever article on Master Lamb. I'm unaware of who wrote the article and the copyright stays with the, the authors and the magazine. However, I've brought it to your attention here for education and informational purposes. On the front cover you can see Master Lamb on the right and Raymond Rand on the left, one of his senior students at the time. On the front cover it says, Sifu Lam, Chi Master Extraordinary. Originally, I was going to read through the entire article. However, bearing in mind that this was written back in 1983, what I've decided, rather than read through the entire article, I will put the pages up for you to see and we'll go through some salient points. Lam Kam Chun was born in Hong Kong just after the war. Although Kung Fu was not particularly well known in the West at that time, in China it was thriving, and youngsters of all ages were training diligently in their chosen style. Lam Kam Chun was no exception. His best friend had been learning Bok Pai, Northern Shaolin. So he too joined the Kuun. Kuun is the Chinese word for school, just like Dojo is the Japanese word for a school. The school Lam Kam Chun had joined was in the lineage of Grandmaster Ku Yu Chang, also known as Guru Chang. Both of Lam Kam Chun's teachers at this school had been personally taught by Ku Yu Chang. They were Master Lung Se Chung and Master Yim Xin Mo. Lung Se Chung had been an exchange student with Master Tam Sam, also known as Tam Sam, where he had learnt Buxing Choi Li Fat. Sifu Lam's personal teacher, Lung Se Chung, became very proud of his student, who was making quite a name for himself in Hong Kong Kung Fu circles. The article continues. As time went by, he met a beautiful Chinese girl named Kai Sin. They married and on their honeymoon travelled to many places throughout the world, calling at Japan, Singapore and Great Britain. Whilst in England, Sifu Lam met Beryl Heed, a teacher of integral yoga in London. In conversation, they exchanged their thoughts on yoga and Tai Chi and the concepts behind the two disciplines. Beryl arranged through the Inner London Education Authority for Sifu Lam to get a permit to teach Tai Chi in England. So with the honeymoon over, Sifu Lam wound up his affairs in Hong Kong and came swiftly back to Britain with his wife to begin a new life here as a Tai Chi Chuan instructor. Over the past few years, Sifu Lam has taught well over a thousand students, but he does have a very special select group of about 10 who have been training with him since his arrival to our shores. These long-standing students are being brought by Sifu Lam up to instructor level. They have already learned Qigong, Qi Pao development, and are mastering Pa Tuan Chin, the 8 section brocade, which is a set of health giving exercises extremely popular on the mainland China. They have learned the Tai Chi form and are now being taught Tai Chi combat. When Sifu Lam first began to teach in England, his first course was advertised as a Taoist studies course. It was housed at the Mary Ward Centre and was to last for one year. Paraphrasing the article slightly, the course was set up for a year. A record was kept of everyone enrolled of their health condition and their progress throughout that year. The exercises taught were the Pa Tuan Jin, also known as the Ba Duan Jin. The article notes that everybody doing the course felt so much better and suffered less from any of the ailments that they went in with, some even feeling more invigorated. It continues with the Paton Chin exercises are designed to work on every organ of the body, and Sifu Lam informs me that, combined with the Qi Kung, the effects are amazing. The Qi Kung is a set of breathing exercises for want of a better explanation, but people must realise that to say it is just a set of breathing exercises is not to describe its full potential. Obviously, it is a lot more extensive than just a breathing method. As Sifu Lam's student stated to me, it is something you have to experience for yourself. You can't talk about it. You have to do it. To understand about Qi, you have to do the Tai Chi form, and then everything starts to come together. The article then discusses an accident that happened to Master Lam, from which he healed himself. It all began in the Christmas of 1981. Sifu Lam had done quite well for himself, and was running a little Chinese restaurant in London's Chinatown. It was a very busy period and the restaurant was working all out. The main sink in the kitchen became blocked up, something which had happened before when it had been cleared with caustic soda. 
This time, it was not so easy. So Sifu Lam poured some acid down to shift it. No one knows quite what happened next, whether it was an airlock in the pipe or a mixture of the chemicals, but seconds later there was a tremendous explosion and Sifu Lam caught the full blast of it squarely in the face. He felt his face and head erupt in searing pain. His body had shielded his wife, who was stood directly behind him. Confusion reigned everywhere. In brackets, at this point, one of Sifu Lam's students takes up the story. Sifu Lam was lying on the floor in agony. His face was inflated like a football. He had no features. It was just a mess. Even in this state, he was still issuing instructions for them to get the ambulance and so forth. They rushed him to Moorfield Hospital, where one of the doctors told him he was lucky to be alive. In brackets, Sifu Lam interrupted at this point to say that all the time during the journey to the hospital, he had centred his chi around his heart. The student continues, After an exhaustive examination, the doctors informed the Sifu that he had lost the sight of his left eye forever and his eye on the right side might be impaired for quite some time. As for his face, when the swelling had subsided, he would need massive skin grafts. Until then, there was nothing more they could do. To Sifu Lam, this was now the time to put his chi energy into his own recovery. Within two weeks, his sight in his right eye had returned. Within two months, through absolute concentration and effort, his chi energy, the eye the doctors said would be blind forever returned him with vision. His skin began to grow on his face and with no apparent scarring. By this time, he had left hospital and was just returning for outpatient visits. Inside 12 months, Sifu Lam was fully and totally healed. The doctors just kept on saying it was miraculous, absolutely amazing, but then full stop. They were not concerned over how Sifu Lam had done it, even when he tried to explain to them about the chi healing power that everyone possesses. He felt it would help with future patients in the same circumstances, but they just didn't want to know. His students had visited Sifu Lam in hospital and they had seen their teacher in that awful state. They did not need convincing, they knew that the chi energy and the power that was within their martial art would manifest itself to bring about the complete recovery of the amazing Sifu Lam, chi master extraordinary. Here the article ends. I would just like to add that Master Lam Kam Chun is a man of great skill and knowledge. He has trained under some of the best teachers high up the lineage tree, giving him senior status yet coupled with skill, knowledge and wisdom. Master Lam currently teaches I Chuan in London and is a recognised student of Grand Master Professor Yu Yong Nian. He is also an instructor of numerous arts including Tai Chi Chuan, having formulated his own short form, as shown on this channel, and also Buxing Choi Fat, Bok Pai, and many more. His Nei Kung ability is legend for many, as is his medical therapy skills. He is a man that understands the necessity for these skills to be passed on to the next generations, so that these wonderful treasures from China are not lost forever. In a world where our youth are distracted by technology and the digital life is fast replacing real life, it is refreshing to know that masters such as Lam Kam Chun are still around to show us the way before it's too late.